Hello everyone, uh, Joel A. Erickson and Brandon Marceau here. We're here from the, uh, I guess, postscript, the last day of practice for Monday. Uh, I don't know if you've seen the news, it's been very hard to keep quiet, but Jeremy Johnson is a new starting quarterback for him. Yeah, he's a quarterback and he plays quarterback. <laughs> no, uh, it, this has been expected since, since really he's been on campus. You knew the moment he got on campus, he was going to compete with Nick Marshall, and whatever Nick Marshall's career was over with, Jeremy Johnson was going to be the guy. So, not unexpected. Um, I believe I saw someone on Twitter, War Eagle, I can't remember his name, I'm sorry. So I'm sorry I'm not providing pr proper context here. But you know who you are. That this is the earliest a starting quarterback has been named in something like eight or nine years. That sounds right. That so, sounds... It's, it's quite a... Yeah, unless you count last year. Right. Well, exactly. Just ruined it all. But anyway, <laughs> no, but... You're still right, though. But, yeah, as far as a competition, actual yeah. competition going on. But not not unexpected, uh, completely expected. What was unexpected was we got to talk to Jeremy today a little bit. And it was interesting listening to him talk about how he feels it's important to make sure everything off the field is in line. In addition to on the field stuff, he feels like it's important to make sure everybody's together off the field and no distractions so they can be successful on the field next season. Yeah, and leadership has been his th thing he, ever since the first press conference. He's been carrying himself like a starting quarterback and saying, yep. you know, the things I need to get better at are leadership. Uh, a couple weeks ago, he told me in an interview that it was it's my team. Um, you yeah. know, he's been speaking like a starting quarterback. He's speaking like an NFL quarterback. Yeah, you know, the guy who's getting ready to go to the NFL. Um, but uh, obviously he's got some time before he has to do that. Uh, you know, he's got to play his college career first. You got to wrap that up first. Yeah. But he's he's the new starting quarterback. Sean White's the backup. And Tyler Queen is sort of in Sean White's position from a year ago. Yeah, Tyler Queen's going to sit back and, and, and learn everything. Not That's not unexpected either. You know, they're not going to release a post-spring death chart on offense or defense. But you have a good idea what's going to be the case on offense. You know about the offensive line. Uh, the receivers, they're going to be in and out, but obviously the top guys, Duke Williams and Ricardo Lewis coming in. The surprise was Myron Burton, the redshirt freshman, having a huge game. That's not a flash in the pan, according to what Red Lashley explained today. They expect that type of thing to carry over into the fall. He really, really did a great job this spring, and they're happy to see that. Running back, you know, more of the same.